What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to Jikoni Yangu where we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. My name is Sebi for those, those who are new to this channel and if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the red button for more amazing recipes like this. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back and to the new subscribers, you're welcomed. Here we do simple recipes with, with easy steps to follow. Yeah, in today's video, we're going to make some amazing chicken marinade recipe. So make sure you stay till the end of the video and learn how to marinate your chicken at home. This is a beginner friendly recipe that those, if you don't know how to marinate your chicken or you don't know how to start, this is the video for you. And also for other guys who want to taste some yummy chicken at home. So make sure you stay till the end of the video. Let's begin this. First and foremost, before you cook, make sure you've washed your hands. I have already washed mine. And the next thing you're going to do, I am going to wash my chicken thoroughly and ensure that its water is clear because we need all the flavors to soak in so well and we don't need the taste to be tampered with. And also, it's just hygienic to clean your chicken before you begin preparing it preparing it so what do you do at home comment down in the comment section below i need to know that's just it as you can see and this is our chicken this is how it looks very clean and very clear the next thing we're going to prepare the marinade you're going to take a bowl and your three cloves of garlic you're going to grate them and you're going to add in half a tablespoon of salt um you're going to add in one tablespoon of tandoori and one tablespoon of chicken masala and you're going to mix that all together and you're going to add in at least water at this point we are going to create a thick paste so that we can be able to marinate our chicken properly so at this at this point make sure you mix everything so well so that also the salt concentration can go in so well we are going to also add in oil one tablespoon of oil inside this mixture the oil ensures that whatever marinade that you have is trapped very well inside the chicken hence that's why we use the oil we're going to take our chicken and we're going to make a little bit of deep cuts my chicken was frozen as you can see so it was really tough for me to cut uh, my chicken but we're still going to make some cuts so that the marinade can penetrate the chicken right so that's the trick to preparing a marinated chicken just do some a few cuts too so that the marinade can penetrate the chicken very well so you are going to add in your marinade and we are going to mix mix and mix for the culture for the culture sorry that is we're going to mix them so that everything can soak in inside the chicken so well if you normally love marinated chicken at this point just give this video a thumbs up and comment down below we need to know how you normally do yours at home yeah so yeah we are going to continue to mix and mix massage the chicken with the marinade massage it and massage it so that we can be able to get the best results before we cover it so we are going to massage the chicken i'm taking my sweet time and if you've reached this far so far please hit the subscription button and to the returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting your girl now that I I feel like I've done so um a good I've done a good massaging we are going to cover our chicken and let it rest. We come back later after 3 hours and our chicken is ready to be deep fried inside hot oil. We are going to add in our chicken inside hot oil and we are going to cook it on medium heat so that our chicken can be able to cook on the inside. Right? So make sure you Make sure you put your heat on medium heat so that you the, your chicken can be able to cook on the inside. If you put in high heat, your chicken will brown up so fast, yet it will not have cooked on the inside. And we don't want to be eating bloody chicken, right? So here we are. And sometimes you normally see blood coming out of the chicken like this, as you can see. That means that your chicken is not yet ready. That's also that that's also another indication of how you can know that your chicken is not ready or it normally removes uh there's this sound that you'll hear of shh I'm sorry guys I'm doing it but that's the sound that you normally hear and you know that your chicken is not yet cooked on the inside on the inside part. So we are going to keep on turning them so that the other sides can also brown up as you can see. So you will keep on turning your chicken so that it can cook on both sides and voila. Here we are and our chicken is well cooked on all sides and on the inside and we are going to remove them and set them aside and also cook the rest of camera and serve 
hours. So this is just how you cook um, your simple marinade chicken at home. This was super delicious. I hope you try this recipe out and let me know how it goes. Right? I also sprinkled some onions on mine and covered it for some time. That will just add that extra touch of flavor. Bye till my next recipe video.